I put on what I put on and go to the gym because I want to see my muscles while I'm working out. I want to see them flex. No woman comes to the gym and wants your attention. Following women from machine to machine, licking your lips, staring at them, talking to them, smiling at them, interrupting their set to tell them that they're beautiful. Nobody wants to hear that. I am working out. If you're not telling me my form is improper or proper, don't say nothing to me. Don't say shit to me. Listen, if I were a man working out, you would never interrupt his set because you have respect for men, but you're entitled, right? You have a sense of entitlement over women, so you think you can tell me whatever you want to tell me and don't nobody want to hear that shit because I'm fucking working out. I don't want your attention. I want muscles. only part of this that I agree with is the interrupting of the set. If you see me going to war with them weights, don't interrupt me. I can agree with that 100%. The other thing about attention, stop the cap. Stop the cap. Ain't no way you in the gym wearing poom poom shorts showing poom poom print to see your muscles flex. I don't want to hear it. The moment I seen them crackers in that Red Bull, I know it's gonna be some bullshit. Crackers, Red Bull, and peas. Yeah, black motherfucker. I don't even wanna see them black ass motherfuckers try that. Y'all have no business trying that. Y'all stomach is not equipped. For what white folks be eating. Ah, uh, your brother just got back from college after a long semester. Let me see the back muscles. Come on. What the heck? Dana, what is this? No, you got all these scratches on your back. It's acne. It's acne. It's back me. My boy said it's back me. It's back me. Look, it's back me. No. What is this? There's cougar scratches. No, it's back me. What did you... Cougar scratches. Does that mean that mommy be scratching your back up? Huh? <laughs> I think the scratching of the back is side chick activities. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you. That's somebody who's trying to let other girls know that you was in her bed. That's equivalent to a chick coming to your house and accidentally leaving her drawers. You know what I mean? This goes right up there with hickeys. Chick leaving hickeys on your neck. Marking her territory. Nah. Okay, you guys. Yes, I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys. I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. I, um, I don't, I don't want to judge, baby girl. But sometimes when people repeatedly say things, it might be the total opposite. Have you ever seen somebody about to fight and one person say, I ain't scared of you? Um, like I said, it's going to be haters. You know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments. But at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. That all that matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters? We ain't worried about y'all. Peace. Seven kids with seven different baby daddies? That is diabolical behavior. At this point, these is using you as target practice. I don't want to judge a book by its cover. I'm pretty sure you're a nice person. And to be honest with you, I applaud you for standing ten toes down. It already happened. We have seven baby daddies, seven kids. I'm stepping up. I'm taking care of my kids. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all could judge me. I applaud you for that. I just hope moving forward that with your seven kids that you raise them the right way and you make sure if you have any daughters, they don't make the same mistakes that you made growing up. First word that comes to mind when you see me. Petite. Petite. Okay.
I just found out who she is. All I'm going to say is her little ass is dangerous. Them skinny girls ain't really my cup of tea. You know, I'm more of a BBW fan, but her little ass is dangerous. As always, I leave the names up here. Go ahead and Google, Google her name. Google her. That hurt me. Oh, perfecto. Epa. That thing got a little louder. A ver, la boca todo lo que puedas. Perfecto. I just have one question. What's she preparing for? Who is she preparing for? Why your mouth need to be open that wide? I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Understood. Yeah, she popped it. Listen, brother, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Come back to the next show. I got you. Because I'm outspoken. But, I mean, you can say what you want, but as soon as a man say something, it's an issue. It's not, nah, it's, not it's, that. It's, just, it's just how you just, you know, you just coming like a little sassy. I, like, but I let you speak the whole time. Oh, my God. Bro, I am so tired of hearing these folks call us men sassy. The moment you say something, usually defending yourself, you sassy. So I'm just supposed to stand there like a punching bag and let you verbally beat me up. And say nothing, sweetheart. It's nothing. It's nothing sassy. It's nothing sassy about a man speaking up for himself. It's nothing sassy. I'm tired of y'all putting sassy just because men speak up for themselves, bro. Next. That's cool. Next time. That's cool. Yeah, everybody That's right, sweetheart. Alright, you have a good day. You too. You still got pretty eyes. You stay blessed. You stay blessed. I will. Forever. <laughs> you you stunting like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you, you good? <laughs> you good? <laughs> I said, look, it's all good, right? Yeah, one. Well, appreciate it. Look, come back to the next show. Come back to the next show. <laughs> hey. If you get in an argument with a ghetto, it's a lose lose situation. There's no winners. If you find yourself in a situation where a hood rat is verbally lashing at you, walk away. Every girl I grew up with that was like that, that did not change, ain't shit right now. Personally, I feel as though homie's feelings was hurt, and you know, he stayed there too long. If everybody popped the balloon, I would have walked away. But as a number one rule, fellas, you never let a female get you out of character. Sometimes I know it be hard because they be talking out they face and they be saying some wild shit. I'm trying to insult a female and win the argument with words, it make you look like a shit. Hey guys, just got back from the Melody Martinez concert. My mom's dead. I walked in on her on the floor, unconscious, and paramedics just pronounced her dead. What is my life? What is, like, genuinely, like, I'm actually in shock right now, because, like, what? Because, like, what? We don't appreciate our parents until they're on the last laps of their life. I know for sure I'm guilty of that. I know me and my father didn't have the best relationship, but at the same time, my pops did a lot for me. I feel as though everything that I'm good at is because my pops had some hand in that. I just wish we bonded more. You know, I feel as though growing up, me and my father always had differences. We always butt heads about a lot of things. We always had a lot of arguments. Sometimes I wish he would have listened to me more. And once I got out of the crib and I got away from New York, I had the chance to be free. And with being free, I didn't call back home as much and we didn't speak as much. But now that, you know, he's older and, you know, he's basically on the last laps of his life, dog. I call him more. You feel me? Like, I, I call him a lot. I try, I try to call him almost every day. Thinking about not being able to pick the phone up and speak to my pops, that shit feels crazy. Like, that's something I don't even want to think about. Appreciate your parents. If you're young, like, if you're in your 20s or if you're a teenager and you watch my videos... Bro, appreciate your fucking parents, bro. Because once you're in your mid-30s and your parents is 65, 70, they don't have that much longer. It's certain people who understand this at a young age because they end up losing their parents at a young age. Like, this young lady, 
she lost her mother at a young age. So she's going to feel what I'm dreading feeling right now, if that makes sense. I know it's coming. I don't know when it's coming, but I know it's coming. And I'm not ready for it. 